Uh, good morning. Today I'm going to explain the difference between a uh, branch and table. A uh, range is the traditional way of creating a range of data in Excel, and table is the new way. Uh, first of all, we uh, create a simple table, for example, called City 1 uh, New York 2 London uh, 3 Singapore. Okay, now this is range, and we might select. This and uh, define a range name for that. The method is Control F3. I already I have a name there. I remove it and I would create a new name. That name I call it uh, maybe I call it cities. Okay, so I test it. It is. Okay, that is the name. Uh, but there is a no newer way. We can copy the whole thing. And in this case, I insert a table. Automatically, we give out a nice table with the filters and the name. Not only the difference in the, in the appearance, but also the difference in the behavior if we use BBA. I create a VBA so called add item and I define the name of the range. Uh, name of the range, I will say, uh, okay, my range. The name is uh, this brain is uh, okay, cities. We can test it, my range graph. Okay, that's right. And now, suppose you want to add an item to it, add a new item. The method is defined uh, node the dimension to name of the range. I say n not equal to my range row count. We can test it and okay. If four items, one, two, three, four, that's correct. And if you want to add the new items, the way is simple. You say my range um, cells and plus one equal to four. Okay, the meaning of that is my range I decide here and the cells, and now from one, two, three, four, and that will be five. And a five, one means uh, the first column, then a four. And I would have my range. And plus one, two, 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 three, four. Okay, then I run it. Immediately get a new item. And I can do the same thing here I change the name to table one because remember the table have the name of uh, sorry table two table two because I've uh, played around with it uh, especially before I started recording so I have the earlier table one and now become I find a new name table two if a table two then what if I run it you will get for Hong Kong I will see two major differences. First, I can test the range that is. It's still not including the new item. But if my table tool select, 
you see automatically rearrange um, automatically enlarge the range and include the new items so this new way seems to be better than the traditional way but uh, as a VBA programmer I would like to use the traditional way anyway because it's more flexible and uh, here it would be some kind of uh, limitation maybe I'm not sure but so I would use the traditional way but how can I uh, make the range um, automatically enlarge when I add new items there is a way to it okay I go back to range this and I remove this items okay so I go back to original okay so the trick that add one more item is to use the a method to call resize in fact it is a bad program and practice to repeat the term here you must define a new name somewhere here okay they call the name Range name the string okay and I will change to range name. That is a better way. So, the meaning of this program is that I would add one more item. Huh. So, the meaning of this program is that I would add one more item here and the Hong Kong here, and then afterward I enlarge the range included by using the word, uh, the keyword resize here and using the same name so let's run it and we test it yeah it, now the range is correct and we can include it with some more five one more to this uh, okay Add in and the guest engine, and we have the status also included. Okay, so even the traditional way would have the same kind of uh, automatic enlargement uh, as the uh, new way of using table. And that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.